lodge meeting. Are there any girls here? I like that. We're talking to the guys too, but that's that's how you know there's girls in the crowd. That's the girl cheer. That's the girl affirmative. You having fun? You happy to be here? Where'd you go to school? USC, home of the Trojans. It's like, ma'am, you're at a job interview. Put your shirt down. It's an office while you're wearing face paint. It's a little cold outside, right? It's like a little chilly. It doesn't, but it doesn't get cold, but as, especially as a girl, we crave a season change, okay? November 1st, I don't care if it's 99 fucking degrees outside, I'm putting on leggings, Uggs, ordering hot drinks. It's so chilly, I'm so cold. Put on a scarf. We love it, right? One of my biggest pet peeves is, uh, is when people act like because they're from somewhere cold, but they don't get cold. Oh. Right? I'm in New York, it's snowing, there's a guy in a t-shirt. I'm like, dude, aren't you cold? He's like, no, I'm from New York, I don't get cold. Oh. All right, yeah, just because you're from a cold climate doesn't mean you're genetically predisposed to not feeling cold, okay? You're not a penguin. <laughs> I was like, in fact, sir, you're Puerto Rican. If anything, you should be more cold. <laughs> not used to it. Denver, snowing, there's a guy in flip-flops. I'm like, aren't your feet cold? He's like, no, my feet don't get cold. That's because you can't feel them. <laughs> Put on some shoes, you look like a douchebag. I got a lot of free time. I'm traveling around the country a lot, and I got really into the Discovery Channel this year, specifically Shark Week. Anybody here watch Shark Week? <laughs> I love that show. We're like, welcome to the 20th anniversary of Shark Week. Today, we're gonna tell you the best way to fend off a shark. I was like, I'm sorry, you've been doing this show for 20 years. You're just now covering how to get away from a shark? Right, that should've been like episode one of Shark Week, how to get away from a fucking shark. That's all we know. They wanted to know if the best way to get rid of a shark was to punch him in his little shark face. Okay, folks, I'm not a scientist, like per se. But I'm pretty sure anytime you punch underwater, Right? Probably not gonna yield the best results. They wanted to know if the best way to get rid of him was to punch him. To figure it out, they constructed a punching device, which was a giant black latex fist. Right? Fantastic if Shark Week coincides with Gay Pride Week. That's the phone start. These are not real experiments, by the way. Okay? These are not legitimate experiments. These scientists wake up probably stoned. You might know something about that. They just wake up and they make crap up. They're like, today on Shark Week, we're gonna take a mannequin, wrap it in bacon. <laughs> Throw in the water, see what the shark does. Regardless, we're gonna punch him in the shark nose. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Week. Today we're gonna take a sweater, douse it in hot dog juice. <laughs> Throw in the water. If the shark tries it on and it's not his size, <laughs> punch him in the shark nose. <laughs> Welcome to Shark Week. Today we're gonna sexually assault a shark. See if he calls us in the morning. Punch him in the shark nose. Here's the thing, sharks are very misunderstood. If a shark's coming at me, I'm terrified. But you don't know, he could want a hug. You don't know. He might want to have a little shark talk with you. You don't know, they have a very limited range of facial expression, right? This is a shark, pretty much his whole life, this is a shark. <laughs> the stoners in the front, is this like an IMAX movie? Yeah. Kind of looks like Michael Phelps, beady eyes, jagged teeth, amazing swimmer. I was watching the news the other day and they were raising awareness about adopting abused animals. They're like, over here we have Michael, he's a golden retriever, he's been abused and he needs a home. Over here we have Mitzi, she's a white tabby, she's been abused and she needs a good family. Over here we have Buster, he's a bunny, he's been abused. I'm like, time out. <laughs> Who's abusing a bunny? <laughs> right, what maniacs coming home shit faced at three in the morning like stupid bunny. <laughs> I'll tell you who, midgets. <laughs> Live in LA, women here like to dress up their dogs in people clothes. Gotta be weird for a dog to wear a jacket made of his relatives. 
doesn't shock me at all that women buy clothes for their dogs. We love to dress things up. We're obsessed with dressing up. We're obsessed with dressing in ways to attract men that aren't even necessarily attractive to men. Like accessories, guys don't care. Girls are all about it. Oh my God, my earrings have to match my shoes, have to match my bracelet, have to match my purse, have to match... <laughs> guys don't care. The best accessory I've found, show up and don't nag. They love it when you wear that. Cockfest in the front's like, fuck yeah! Yeah! I've never been on a date, but maybe. Maybe if you were quiet. Guys don't care. You've never met a guy that's been like, dude, that girl was so fucking hot, but did you see that belt? His friends are like, uh, no fag. But I, I did see her shoes. But at least when you don't dress up, you know, you send the right message. I'm honest about who I am. It's sometimes it's hard to understand like how people are. Cause sometimes people seem normal, but then they're shapeshifters under their skin and they're just weird, right? Or they maybe they eat babies, you don't know. Three nerds are laughing at that joke, but it's true. You can never tell. You ever smile at someone, they smile back at you and they're missing this tooth. Those of you not laughing are missing this tooth. Here's the thing, if you're missing your front teeth, these two teeth, that's honesty. You're saying to the world, hey, I'm poor, I'm dirty, I'm a crazy person, I'm okay, I'm a prize fighter, I don't know, I'm okay with missing these teeth, right? When you're missing this tooth, that says that, hey, I had the dental awareness and, and uh, hygienic prowess to take care of my front teeth, my showing teeth. But some point along the line, I realized, hey, I got eight eaten teeth in the back, it's okay to lose one. These are the same people that grow their hair and never trim it. Girls, you have to trim your hair and I'll tell you why. If you don't trim your hair and you let it grow long, you got about two inches between really hot, sexy model, religious fanatic. <laughs> hot cover girl that everybody wants to mouth kiss, unhealthy faith in your Lord. So keep your hair, <laughs> keep your hair trimmed at all times. Sometimes people, you know, that you're close to or that you watch on stage seem completely normal. Look at me, I look like a normal person, normal blonde girl, right? You wouldn't know that I have an unhealthy fetish for Japanimation porn. You wouldn't know that about me. You wouldn't know that when I check into a hotel, the first thing I do is get completely naked, stand behind the door and look at people through the peephole and make faces at them behind the door. You wouldn't know that I never bite my fingernails, but I peel off all my toenails and when I'm down to the nub, I go find a milk jug and peel off the plastic on the top because it feels the same. You wouldn't know that I do these things. Yeah, I do a lot of things like that. If I'm going out with a boy and we're gonna be drinking on the date, I won't shave above the knee and I'll tell you why. That ensures that I won't get naked later and he won't catch me in my hair shorts. <laughs> Think about it. Think about the visual. The six girls at this gangbang are having their own little private chuckle. The guys are like, what are hair shorts? Well, winter's here, you're gonna find out. <laughs> you guys are just laughing because I said gangbang. <laughs> Drinking doesn't help anything, okay? I noticed one thing about myself when I drink, I like to pick fights. Sometimes, I like to pick fights and that's bad. I've never been in a fight in my life. I have a couple drinks, all of a sudden I'm doing this move. What? Like it's ever okay for a girl to do this move? BTW, this leaves you vulnerable to all kinds. One shot to the boob and it's over. Okay, that's your fatality, you're done. I'm picking fights. I don't, do I look like I can fight? Do I look like I draw my eyebrows on with eyeliner pencil? Do I look like I know how to fight? No. But I get a couple drinks and I go crazy. And who do I pick fights with? Boys, wanna know why? Because a boy can't hit me back. Girls like to do this. You, you hit your boyfriend, you hit your husband, cause they're not gonna come back at you. I like to go out sober because one day I'm gonna find the one girl that's drunk and picking fights with boys and she's gonna meet the one guy that has no qualms about hitting women. And it's gonna look like this. What, I'm not afraid of you, let's go. I'm not, let's watch UFC, I don't give a fuck. Fucking hit me, asshole, I don't, oh my God. Thanks so much, you guys.